Trying to go on top of your mama? My little girl? You almost got it. Oh, 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 oh. You fell. Now, as you can see, this is day two, and they are a lot more active, all of them, but especially these little ones. This uh, tiny boy, the black one over here. He likes to sleep in the most awkward positions like he'll twist his neck and it looks like he just died or something he just put it in a way like okay his neck is broken or something this little white boy has been active since day one but he's a little bit and look at little cow little cow we call him like that this one right here black and white one <laughs> he wants to jump on mom very very active and our precious little girl this one right here she's been jumping in and out of the box all day today Let's see if she does it right now they just we're kind of stuck in the box in the beginning, which was the whole purpose. But <laughs> look at her. She learned that she can jump. And so our little cow and a little girl think their mama is a mountain. So <laughs> they both want to sleep on her. And I opened the window. So Clara was looking out this window it's their house over there and that's why I let her out today but I opened this other window now so it kind of faces south so they have a lot more Sun and over there I have all the stuff that I need for the babies and Clara minerals and of course my sleeping arrangement which is on the floor but I am so happy to report that by the afternoon of day two every single one of these kids is acting more like a baby goat and not like a tiny preemie baby they are enjoying the Sun living their best lives Clara is still a little tired. She had a, an adventure today when she went out and she went straight back in. I opened this door and she went straight in after pretending to be a male goat with the herd. She came here and calmed down and turned into Mama mode. So I took Clara outside and the craziest thing happened. She decided that she was a buck. She started licking all the girls and trying to mount them. I didn't take my camera, but I had to tell you while I remember this, but she's outside with the rest being a buck for the day. And she's very upset that she's away from her kids, but I'm gonna clean the pen because at the bottom, as you can see there, I have some cardboard, and that cardboard is full of pee by now. So I'm gonna clean that um, and then bring her back because her kids are all taking nappies. Oh, look at those cute kids. I'm gonna leave you here so you can keep an eye on the kids.
So, I put a few layers of cardboard. I'm gonna put straw. And I made a mess everywhere. <laughs> Even our little tiny friend, he's having the time of his life. Well, I need to go back. <laughs> This is the mess I made. <laughs> There's more way. <laughs> but they're having the time of their life. Look at them. <laughs> A little cowboy he is so cute he is doing so much better he is two days old today and I'm holding on to him because I'm hoping that his improvement is gonna show in the scale but look at the cute little face okay so he's currently at two pound one ounce. So he was at two pounds zero point eight of an ounce. So he did gain some weight, but definitely not the four ounces that he needs. This cute little fella. He is the cutest thing. He is boy number two. And he is doing so much better. He is walking around, trying to jump on mom. He really improved. But let's see how much he weighs. Two pounds. So yesterday he weighed 
one pound 15.5 ounces not quite what I was hoping for him but anything of weight gain for this little ones I'll take it so this is boy number three it's our little white and silver and a little brown boy and oh he's gonna poop she cleans their buds like that's her main job in life okay so yesterday he was at three pounds one ounce let's see today how he's doing He is at three pounds, three ounces. So, not quite the four ounces that I was hoping for. And finally, the little girl. Cutest little girl. He can stand there for us and look cute, but not try to jump. She was at two pounds, seven ounces yesterday. Let's see if you can fit here, girly. She is a two pounds, 10 ounces. So three ounces more than yesterday. So I'm not gonna lie. I am a little disappointed in the numbers. The one that is closest to what it should be is our little girl, but I figured because she is the one that is more insistent. Um, I showed you in, I don't know if in this video or in another video, that I'm sleeping here on the floor with mattress and uh, a sleeping bag. And every, typically every two hours, I get them up from the box and I start with the tiniest boys. I put them one on each teeth. I make sure they nurse until they don't want to nurse anymore. Then I put them back in the box, grab the other, the bigger kids, the white ones. I put them one on each side and I wait until they don't want to drink anymore. Now typically, um, you know, I would end my part of the deal there, but I am not doing that because they are, I'm assuming because they're so small, they are falling asleep as they are nursing. And last night, after I showed you that clip that I was going to bed, I got woken up by a screaming kid and uh, Clara was sitting on him, the white boy. The, the one of the biggest one, that's why he was crying. So the little boys, the black boys, they don't really cry still. So if Clara is stepping on them, they will make faces like they stick their tongue out and they look like they're dying, which, you know, likely would happen if I don't intervene. So I take the time to wait until everyone nurses, until everyone is satisfied, which could be between 15 and 30 minutes, the whole process with the four kids. And then I put them back in the box. I wait for Clara to lay down and then I go back to sleep. During the day, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just easier because I have them right here, so. But look at Clara, like, she wants to go inside the box. And that's how she crushed that little boy yesterday, just wanting to get in the box like that. The idea of the box is to discourage her to, you know, step on them or just lay on them uh, it's as I mentioned before this is a tiny space that we have here indoors and we're sharing it with them with much love and making a hundred arrangements for them to be warm here so it's the most space that we can give them but I know it's small and it's only for a few days until these kids are strong enough to nurse for themselves, look for the teeth, find them, 
and be quick enough to move if she's gonna lay down and accidentally they're under her. Right now, they two, they're not quite there yet. My plan is still to get them out and into the kidding pen in the barn, the goat barn, by Saturday morning when the weather is gonna be better. But honestly, I'm gonna have to reevaluate tomorrow, Friday, when I wait the kids because if there's not much improvement as far as weight change on the little ones. I'm gonna have to figure something different because I'm afraid that they're not gonna be strong enough to fight for a teat when they want it and that the other two that are stronger and healthier and you know a little bit more aware of what they have to do um, they're just not gonna share that's what I'm afraid although I could change my mind tomorrow if I see them that they're even more active than today today they've been jumping around and being super super active so wish me luck and most of all wish that these kids gain maybe the eight ounces tomorrow that they need for a couple of days so I don't I don't know I just feel like yeah they're gaining weight but it's so insignificant that the only thing that's encouraging right now is their active behavior so we're gonna be in tonight. I'm gonna sleep here despite <laughs> everyone's um, not happy about it. Uh, I've been extremely tired and cranky and not with anybody in particular but just myself. And right now I just got up from a 30 minute nap <laughs> in the room over there because I just couldn't take it anymore and there's a lot going on here in the house, outside, in the farm. The dog started laying. I thought that I would start incubating. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna add one more thing to my plate. I feel like um, I gave birth and I have children and my house is a mess because it's full of bottles and colostrum and goat minerals and straw, hay, pellets, kids and the same amount of work of every day on top of that. Needless to say uh, that's just something I'm choosing to do. There's people that you know would put them outside and hope that they catch up and make it like the you know the strong the strongest one will survive. That's not my mentality, that's not who I am and that's why I stretch and stretch myself so thin to try to um, meet my own indescribably high standards in everything in life. Okay. There's a so. lot going on that I haven't caught you up with. We're gonna have to take the yurt down, so I need to make room for kids sleeping, like actual human kids sleeping here now. That room was my pantry, and <laughs> now I'm just going through my pantry, cleaning things out. Even though I am keeping an eye on Clara, the baby goats, and they are the priority right now, on top of my family, of course, other things are gonna have to wait. Like the really needed back house clean out, and the shower for the bucks, and um, the shower for the dogs. They stink so bad but it's still not even the nice weather that I need for doing all those things. So it will get busy. I will show you other things that we're gonna be working on. I really wanted to do a tour before putting the year down, but right now it needs to come down. I need to do like a super good clean out, like scrub the top, um, the sides. I'm gonna stain the floors. There's a lot, lot, lot. Lot. Did I mention that there's a lot going on? A little bit overwhelmed, but I just want to get out of this situation where I feel like these kids are not strong enough to be mothered. See, she's stepping on. No, no, Clara. 
You're stepping on cow. I know you didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I know you, you didn't mean to, but mama, if he's crying, you're stepping on him. This is what we needs to be done. And I guess that's the motto for my life. One thing at a time, what needs to be done first. And that's where I need to put all my energy. And so other things will be coming, but I hope that you're enjoying the content of dealing with um, maybe quads or smaller babies. Doesn't really mean that, you know, this couldn't happen to twins or even a single it could happen you know they could be preemies but you know that's one of the realities of when they what I was afraid when I was talking about being afraid of multiples with Clara I knew she had a four I knew just don't I know her she is super skinny she's super hard to put weight on I knew she was gonna have four kids um, She almost step on my little black one but she didn't so I'm not gonna say anything so. yeah so I hope you're enjoying this content uh, and that it's useful uh, I was talking to Heather on Sage and Stone Homestead yesterday and I, she was telling me how much she wants quads and I'm like no you don't no you don't um, I had kids before you know Mocha had twins and Evel had a, a single one and those kids were out of the womb, they were nursing, they were as punky as they will ever be <laughs> and they were jumping outside the house within hours of being born. Those are kids that I don't have to worry about and you probably don't have to worry about, you know. But when you're dealing with multiples that come out this tiny as one pound and a few ounces, then you have to be that extra help to help them catch up to what they should have grown and they didn't inside mom. So, I'm not complaining. I mean, I love this baby goat and there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. But um, if you don't have the time or if you, if you work or, if, you know, you can be at home, you can be watching them and you have this tiny of babies, in a multiple birth situation, then it could be nerve-wracking thinking about all the things that could go wrong. And as I showed you, it's like once every hour, once every three hours, once every two hours. I mean, I don't even know. I'm glad that they're starting to cry when she step on them. Or... And again, she does have room. It's small, but she does have room to lay in another place. It's just that. Too many kids in too many places and they have to be smart enough to move when they see she's coming down but they're not there yet thank you for being here today if you enjoy our content if you're enjoying this series please uh, subscribe leave a comment down below tell me if this is the first video that you're watching if you're new if you've been here for a while I, I would love to hear from you in the comments remember also to rate this video so it can be spread around with more people that are looking for this kind of content thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time